Hi everybody, welcome to this Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects tutorial and today we are going to create this very simple flat line envelope icon inside Adobe uh, Illustrator and then we are gonna put this icon into Adobe After Effects and boom we have this uh, very neat illustration and this thank you for watching this tutorial so first thing first let's start with the uh, adobe illustrator and uh, i'm gonna size my new document to the 1920 and 1080 and click create then as always i'm gonna turn off my aligned pixel grid and increase the row size of my layer so everybody can see them properly i'm gonna set it to 700 pixels and maybe i'm gonna grab this all of these colors and place it on my new artboard maybe lock him on this layer and create all a new one so on my new layer I'm gonna grab rectangle tool, hit once on my artboard and here I want to set the width of my rectangle to 790 pixels and height uh, of my rectangle to 510 pixels and click OK to create my first rectangle and I'm gonna sample this color, this is a fit color and uh, next I'm gonna create a new layer by clicking on this teeny icon uh, I, by clicking on this teeny icon on the bottom of my layers panel and uh, um, then I'm gonna create keep this selected maybe I should align it before make a copy make sure that you align to that board I align it to that board both horizontally and vertically to the center and uh, on create a duplicate ctrl C ctrl F to make a duplicate or command C command F on your Mac and now as you can see I wanna grab this duplicate and paste it on my new layer and here I want to swap fill and stroke and set the stroke to my default stroke for flat line illustration 5e 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 then it's important go to stroke panel and align clicking on this small teeny icon align stroke to inside so align your stroke to inside and set the weight of your stroke to uh, 14 points so it's a good rule of thumb to save all of your strokes all of your outlines on layer on new layer of top because uh, it doesn't interfere with your fillet shapes and it allows you to create uh, shadows, uh, highlights and so on on the layer in between of your fillet shapes and your stroke layer, stroke layers. Oh, let's continue our tutorial uh, and I'm gonna grab my polygon tool and set the number of sides to 3 and choose default radius and here first of all I wanna put this uh, okay let's let this uh, uh, fit in with this stroke then I want to size this uh, triangle on this transform panel it's called transform panel and W stands for width so I'm gonna size my uh, width to 790 which is width of my rectangle click enter and then I'm gonna size my uh, height with uh, 285 pixels and click OK and of course I should resize my stroke width weight to uh, 14 points and align them horizontally to the center so I have my triangle and sitting OK and I want to create a copy of this triangle Ctrl C Ctrl F or Command C Command F on your Mac and then I'm gonna grab this copy and throw it on my layer below and sample this color this sweet color on here from here so we have our flap our top flap and we need uh, to create a duplicate of this well maybe it's uh, the best solution of this is to simply drag this 
holding Alt and Shift key and place it like so. We have this duplicate. We uh, duplicate only outline and maybe I control C, control F and play this outline on my fillet stock of the fillet shape layer and then sample this color fill color from here. So we have um, above we have too much shapes here for some of the reason but okay we have three uh, shapes here on my field layer and three shapes here on my outline layer and we need to create a side flop so and um, maybe the best solution to create side flops is right here so I grab my top flop and create a copy of this Ctrl C Ctrl F now we have a copy of our flop and I want to rotate this flop holding shift key rotate on the 180 degrees and I want to hold in shift key move it like so so it's like seems like closed envelope also and uh, I want to also also select all of these envelope and create a duplicate ctrl c ctrl f and paste it duplicate on new layer then i want to lock this layer beneath with my original files so i don't interfere with them at all as you can see we have this all of these duplicates and we have this small design let me i want to i toggle visibility of my original layers to make clear what i'm going to do and then i wanna grab my shape builder tool click on the shape shapes to create my side flop so i have my side flops like so and I want to delete all unnecessary stuff, all stuff that is not my side flops are deleted. And I want also want to delete this uh, layer. And I want to, uh, I want my flops to be uh, this color. So I sample this color. It's uh, dark weed. So I have now my side flap for shapes and I need to adjust the shapes. Uh, grab your direct selection tool, uh, select, select this forward uh, anchor, this anchor is uh, fillet and these are hollow and drag it like so on your top. Make sure that your smart glides is turned on, Control U, Command U to turn your smart lights and then I want to do the same with this right flop and uh, we have adjusted our flop and we're ready to go I want to paint these flops on my on the envelope shapes to the solid colors and then I want to control C control F to make a duplicate and then I want to drag this small little rectangle this rectangle on my layers panel small little rectangle on my layers panel to drag it on new layer and then last step I'm gonna grab my airdropper tool and sample this outline so we have our design but um, as for me this um, stroke is too thick where my uh, uh, side flaps and my uh, bottom flap are intersected and get to get rid from this stock I am gonna select to my sides flap outlines I now I work only with outline ctrl C ctrl F to make a duplicate now I work only with duplicate hold shift keep this duplicate selected hold shift and select your bottom outline 
So as you can see, this shape is selected. And now I want to grab my shape builder tool, this shape builder tool, and combine this shape. And this creates this nice, very nice form. I think we are ready to add our letter here. First of all, I want to work on my new layer. I want to create a random rectangle from here, align it horizontally to the artboard. I have aligned it, then I want to add a fill color to this rectangle, and then I want to change the fill color white here, and um, I also want to make some text happen uh, here, but and uh, I want to change the font of my text to this sans and then I want to align my text to the center like so and align to the center to of my artboard. So looks, looks good. I also want to align this letter to my to the center of my board. Maybe enlarge a little bit my text and sample the color from my stroke and then swap the fill and stroke like so. So I very I have a very consistent design and now I want to uh, paste my letter like so. Where, where to put my letter? First of all, we need to grab all of these bottom parts from here and paste it on new layer. So this is background of our envelope and this is a uh, uh, top flap sleeper flap of our envelope i want to create a new layer for them and paste first of all my solid shapes then i want to paste my outlines here and then i want to paste it on the bottom set this uh, layer on bottom and then I want to drag my layer with my letter right on top of my bottom layer. So we have created our envelope shape and uh, if we work in Adobe Illustrator it's perfectly fine but in order to prepare this uh, envelope for uh, Adobe After Effects I think we need to grab select this <coughs> this top flap, this sleeper flap and uh, paste it on its own layer so create a new layer <coughs> clicking on this icon, I'm sorry and paste it like so so now we can export our file right in the Adobe After Effect so a last step to prepare our composition to import for uh, to export for Adobe After Effects we need to name our layers properly so open your uh, layers panel and here I want to name this uh, piece of paper as letter actually then I want to name this as top flap or only on simply top then I want to make this as simply flaps and I want to make this uh, name this on my bottom as background simply PG is okay then uh, you can save or save as and for me it's letter for RE so this is the end of our Adobe Illustrator tutorial I want to thank you for following uh, for falling to the end if you like this tutorial, please subscribe, thumb up. If you want to create an animated letter, you can follow the link in the description to, uh, first of all, download this uh, uh, letter as an asset and work directly in the Ad Adobe After Effects. And second link, you can watch my Adobe Effect tutorial. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.